Welcome to Stories za How to. Na leo nataka niwafundishe vya ku laminate an ID. Ku laminate an ID there is something about it a porch. Hii ndio porch. Na this porch ni kopia na the box ambayo iko na a lot of porches in it. Ina ina carry 100 pieces per box. So kaka box kako na 100 pieces. Now the size ya yeah, this uh, porch wanatuambia ni 54 by 86 mm in centimeters eh, this is 5.4 centimeters by 8.6 centimeters now for that case let me just try to confirm if that is the truth nikiweka hii hapa kwa zero you can see actually this is 8 and this is roughly 8.6. That is the length. I'm at the width. I love the height. Kwanzia hapo mpaka somewhere there. It is actually 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Unana kwa 5 enye. 5.5 tuko kwa 5.4 centimeters. Now, laminating. Laminating inafanyaga documents na kuwa secured. Document in a last long document karatasi yani ile sasa now the karatasi itself inakuwa na long life na ku karatasi kuendewa na maji na kama vile inakuwa kidogo inakuwa ni, ni ngumu so ni a matter of to protect your documents na what I'm, what I'm saying about uh, lamination ni kwamba the paper itself let me pick a piece of paper here you cannot say at kwamba he porch it is a culminate this size of paper because now this one is big no no like it's not supposed to be this way lazima the content ambao ndio karatasi ambayo nataka kulaminate ikuwe ndogo kidogo ndogo kidogo compared na the porch na tena ikiwa ndogo sana ile design nyingine inafika place kama hapa pia haikai vizuri inafaa niweze kuwa smart now so let me just go straight to my computer na hapa hivi niko na program ambayo napenda kuitumia inaitwa Corel Draw Corel Draw ndio hii i just open it just open it my computer kidogo ni slow but uh, it serve the purpose ya this uh, tutorial ambayo nataka kuwafunza on how to laminate a document and we can laminate a document that we don't have so mteja anza kuletea document na inafaa we umtengeneze lazima tujue now this is my this is my template template yangu venye nimewaambia hapa this translated into centimeters ni 5.4 by 8.6 centimeters now siezi nikakuja nikaunda document kwanza hapa ni inches Sorry miss juk so my inches vizuri waga zinanisumbua so I'm comfortable na centimeters if you're comfortable na inches ama any other unit of measure unaweza kufanya hivyo but mimi nitatumia centimeters now siezi nikakuja nikaunda document ya 5.4 uh, with with sorry siezi nikaunda document ya 8.6 by 5.4 the document if i zoom in the document is here this is now the container ndio inafani kazi yangu ni work within this region nikiunda hii inamaanisha inatoshana na inatoshana na the porch na kaya inatoshana lamination na itafanya hapo mpaka ni kwenye space on the side now that aside so what i'll do i'd rather ni sahau this point 6 nikisahau point 6 na, ba, na naunda document ya 8 by 5 na saw that point 4 8 by 5 na nasema okay so nakuwa ni adjust my nakuwa ni adjust my template ama my container hii ambayo inafanya ifanyie kazi so kuna mteja amenitumia amenitumia something nafikiri ni iko iko somewhere here let me just confirm mteja amenitumia document nataka tu laminate kama id na yenyewe hata haiko kwa size ya id this are different client uh, let me just see mm, the different things itakuwa ni kawapi 
kuwani uweka wapi right this is the document so hii document na copy na kidogo pia tutorial apart from uh, kukua tutorial ya how to laminate a document pia kidogo kidogo pia ni kama na introduce kwa software ambayo natumia Corel Draw ambayo ndio mimi natumia kufanya all my designs so i'll just control v to paste that document here na unaona vinyi naka already ni kubwa ni kubwa na haiko kwa mpangilio ambao nataka so the first thing that i'll do nitakuja hapa kando ni this is a crop tool nitakuja nichukue that nichukua crop tool i'll just go around it like that alafu i enter na kwa nimeshai crop then vinyi meka inafai kwa the other way so if i double click inaniletea these uh, inaniletea hizi hizi nza kushika moja na una rotate but unaona sitakuwa nime rotate vizuri kabisa wewe hapa unaona kidogo ni kama ime slant now hapa nikiangalia hapa kuna 268 point something inamaanisha tu ni 270 ndio inafaa ni kweni nimeweka hapo 270 when i enter now the document is venye inafai kwa Now. Tafanya hivi. Then I'll double click on this uh, rectangle tool. Ta double click. Nikisha double click kwa that rectangle tool. I can paint the outline different. Na kupaint outline different na kuja kwa color so kando na namwacha ni right click hata kwa red. Ama any color yellow for example. Kuna yellow. Yeah. Naweza nikafanya hivyo. Then this document I can still right click on it na kuna mali pia nitasema order then I take it to the back back of page so that the yellow hii ikue juu ile kishakuwa juu nitakam hapa ni shike hii document ili iweze ku iweze ku ja kwa page yangu vizuri na unaona imepita so the yellow line kazi yake ni ya kuni guide kwamba page yako imefika hapa which means these are the excesses now nikifanya hivyo na naangalia ni scatter contents za mteja wangu so i just click on this arrow down niweza kusukuma chini kidogo the dog ah juu kidogo arrow up hapo niko sawa so unaona contents zinafazi kwe hapa then there is something that i can do niweza mwa tena ni crop tena nikifuata the yellow line ama nifanye kitombo inaitwa power clip power clipping ni kuingiza tu the document as is iingie kwa hii container na shape ya container venye iko so let me just na prefer kutumia power clipping whereby nitakuja kwa object nikuje kwa power clip kwanza sorry before that una click the document una, una click the image the jpeg image alafu unakuja hapa power clip unasema place inside frame Lafu unaona ina bring this arrow then ta click to hapo nasema let me try again ivo so kisha kwa hivi i can click on it nirudi kwa object nikuje kwa edit power clip i need to make sure imekuwa placed vizuri naona mimi kwangu iko sawa kwangu iko sawa hapa hivi nafanya sikume kidogo kwangu iko sawa si mbaya then narudi kwa object na ninasema finish editing this level so there is this yellow thing haikai poa sana nilikuwa naweka yellow ndio yani itakuwa shouting na nitaweza kuiona vizuri naweza kuja nichukue some gray hapa kuna 30% black here ama nichukue 40% black i just right click I just right click on it sorry when it black sana yeah lafata nizamua the outline kakuwe kembamba kidogo weba iniseme kakuwe ka hairline hivyo now this document iko sawa now the template tukisoma hapa ni 8 by 5 8 by 5 so Stacking nianze kuwa na confusion ya printing because most papers ambao si tunatumia kwa hii shop yetu 
ni A4 size. Therefore I'll, I'll uh, take this na nikuje na nikuje kwa page yangu hapa na nimeke sure anachagua A4. Nichagua A4 when I zoom in kidogo. I zoom out kidogo sorry. This now the A4 paper ambayo niko nayo. So nilikuwa nime process ni the same thing kabisa juu unaona niki highlight hapa ni 80 mm by 50 mm which means it is 8 cm by 5 cm so this is an a4 sheet ukiangalia hapa this an a4 sheet ndio hii so unaiweka pale place yenye unaona iko safi then after that we come here kwa pdf hapa ni ku export the document now nikifinya hapa as a portable file mimi na, nataka kutuma kwa desktop na nasema tu id size nilikuwa nimeweka moja but let me just replace it then i can come kwa desktop yangu nitafute hiyo id size ndio hii nifungue then i print control p control p i'll come to Kumbuka huko tumetumia exact measurements za poch, exact measurements. Therefore hapa kuna trick ambayo nitakupatia. Mi personally vitu kama hizi IDs nini nini personally ama lava wa kutumia glossy ama Epson matte, sipendi kutumia plain paper. Napenda kutumia photo paper. So napenda kuzita Epson matte. Alafu hapa hivi nitaka high. Alafu nitasema okay. Alafu hapa kuna wengine wanga nasema ti fit wakati tunasema fit kuna dimensions zinabalika kidogo so hapa you don't scale anything you say none none so my paper is quite ready for machine here is the photo paper so here yeah, you so you can just capture it so from there mimi ndio huyo i'm now doing the printing let's see how it gets out so it's getting out it's printing This is the printed uh, you can zoom in. Lafu ni chukue the porch. See what happens in a pair room. So guys, the finished product is here. And that is how we design an ID and then we we'll, and then we we'll laminate it.